leader of the new Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker. Order, please. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, a, a private consortium has asked the government to contribute $120 million over 30 years towards the cost of a sports stadium in Shannon Park. Now, last week, uh, the Premier said that uh, we would not be looking at general revenue of the province as a source for such a project, but that other sorts of sources of revenue uh, could be looked at. Um, one suggestion that has been made by the promoters of this project is a tax on accommodations and car rentals. But yesterday, the Tourism Industry Association said this, the indiscriminate suggestion that we should increase tax on all visitors using accommodation and car rentals to fund a private sector venture is completely inappropriate. Mr. Speaker, I want to ask, is it still the Premier's position that he's willing to consider these kinds of revenue sources to provide $120 million for a privately owned sports stadium? The Honourable Premier. Uh, Mr. Speaker, thanks very much for the question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the uh, member raises very important uh, questions. I said to him earlier that uh, there's a, a proposal now before uh, uh, Halifax Regional Council are looking at it. He highlighted part of that proposal where uh, the proponent talked about uh, potential sources of revenue. Uh, we've made no commitment, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, Statistics Canada uh, data show that in 2017, in the federal riding that Shannon Park is a part of, uh, the number of children living below the poverty line was 3,920. Now, between 2015 and 17, our province was the only province in Canada where child poverty actually got worse. So I want to ask the Premier, how could his government possibly give any consideration to the thought that a football stadium is a higher priority than 3,920 low-income kids? The Honourable Premier. Speaker, it's, Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the Honourable for the question. The reality of it is, uh, Mr. Speaker, through the many community services, we continue to make investments in those families who require support through income assistance. You would know, uh, Mr. Speaker, the unemployment rate in this province has never been lower since they've been recording it, Mr. Speaker. That means job opportunities that we're seeing created. We're seeing uh, many young people move back to find opportunities for themselves in this province, growing our economy. Our population is at an all-time high and it's getting younger, Mr. Speaker. It's the first time since 1964 that the, uh, the average age of this province has gone down. Those are all positive signs of a growing economy. He does highlight we need more work to do, and that's why the minister is doing the transformation around income assistance. And we're continuing to make sure that we provide good economic opportunities, good jobs through the private sector to help grow. That's why these exports matter, Mr. Speaker. It's revenue coming back in to grow opportunities. The Honourable Leader of the New Democratic Party. Mr. Speaker, allow me to bring a word from the world of economic reality. While this private consortium is asking the government for $120 million. All kinds of families in Dartmouth are struggling for their housing. 3,057 households in the federal riding that Shannon Park is part of today are paying more than 50% of all the money they take in towards their rent. Mr. Speaker, in our view, 3,057 households struggling to keep a roof over their head is a much higher priority than $120 million for a private sports stadium. What about this is not obvious to the Premier? The Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, it's why we continue to make uh, investments in housing, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Minister of Municipal Affairs uh, just signed with the national government a new housing strategy, Mr. Speaker, over the next 10 years. Uh, the Honourable Member would know uh, the budgets he's been voting against have rent subs in them. I committed to him that I would look at whether or not those should be adjusted. Those are to ensure that we provide uh, an opportunities. He is highlighting the fact, Mr. Speaker, with the growth that is happening, with the, the economic boom in Nova Scotia that's been taking place, Mr. Speaker, it has put pressure on some of the housing opportunities in terms of affordability. That's why we're looking at new options and new opportunities to ensure that we're responding to the needs of those individuals. 